and welcome back to webdesigner-resource.com video series that's webdesigner-resource.com today we're going to look at how to speed up your wordpress site using a caching plugin now we're here at the webdesigner-resource.com test area and we're going to go to our dashboard down to plugins add new and we're going to search for super cache it's actually called WP super cache and the first one that comes up is what we're looking for WP super cache we're going to go ahead and install that and we're going to activate it now as you can see by this red message activating it does not actually enable the caching so we're going to go here to the plugin admin page now this page can also be found under settings and WP super cache now to enable it all we need to do is turn caching on and hit update status now once you do that the first thing you want to do is come down here and test the cache so we're going to go ahead and do that now as you can see we got green all the way and if the timestamps ma match that's a good thing it means it's working now there are a number of settings that you can use with this but you can basically use it right out of the box just by activating it and turning it on uh, this will continue to cache your site if we come here to advanced options we actually have quite a number of options to choose from now you can compress pages down here so that they're served up more quickly to visitors uh, as it says here it's disabled by default uh, because some hosts have problems with compressed file and switching it on and off clears the cache I actually use this to clear the cache sometimes and the best thing is just to go ahead and enable it and see how it works we're gonna go ahead and do that and then I'm gonna go here to visit site and as you can see it's coming up fine so my host supports it if for some reason it doesn't you know obviously you want to come back in here and disable that now you can not cache pages for known users uh, and as it says that's recommended basically if somebody comes back to your site you, know, you want to give them the freshest content um, for caching you know that's it's really important especially to make a good impression on users but also uh, don't forget that search engines take that into account especially Google uh, if your site is not loading uh, with only within only a few seconds you actually will get penalized or at least your ratings will not be as high I think Google looks for like two seconds is their recommended I don't know too many pages that load in two seconds but you know still you want to get as high as you can so we're gonna go ahead and check that um, you can also down here you can make known users anonymous so that they're served super cached static files again it really depends on the content of your site um, I would just leave that disabled um, as you can see you've also got uh, mobile su device support so you can enable that and by default it is enabled and you can do things down here like clear all cache files when a post or page is published or update that's usually a good thing to keep on um, you obviously you know if you're updating a, a post you want the very freshest version to come out to your clients now we're going to go ahead and hit update status here I want to come over here to post. Um, now, as you can see, we have a couple posts from one of our other test areas. All right, so I'm going to come in here and I'm going to do add a little bit more text to that. I'm going to hit update. And as you can see, it's been updated. All right. 
Now, if we come back in here and we turn this setting off for advanced and have it not clear this, the cache files, and then we come back in here and go to our all posts again, come back down to hello world. I'm going to go ahead and delete that, and I'm going to update it. And now, you'll notice we can come up here and we can actually delete the cache of the current page. Now that will remove it from the cache so that the new version will be active and that's what we want. Let's go back down here to W Super Cache just to go over a few more options. Um, CDN, if you're using that, you can you can actually, you know, use this tool to basically plug into, you know, Amazon CloudFront and uh, pull some of your files from there instead of your actual host. And the reason you would do that is that if you're serving up your entire website from a single place, um, you're going to end up uh, with bottlenecks. So sometimes by pulling information from a very fast host, you can actually get a increase in speed. If you go here to preload, you can actually preload certain things. Um, you can preload plugins, and these plugins will actually load uh, when Supercache does. That can speed up. Again, it really depends on what type of plugins you have. Really, you can have to kind of experiment with this and uh, see how it works for your particular site. I mean, obviously, there are you know thousands upon thousands of different plugins. So knowing how they're going to react really is kind of a trial and error. So that's really it. As you can see, it's WP Supercache is super easy to install and you know, works pretty much right out of the box and you can get going. Uh, if you do have problems, you can contact them on their support forum. And that's about it. So thank you for joining us here at webdesigner-resource.com. Hopefully this will speed up your site and we'll see you next time.